Hi everybody, it's Wanda. So I went upstairs and I watched a couple of videos and I'm gonna try doing it as a dirty pour and I have thinned out my paints. I still have three metallics. Now I have two mattes to go with it. So my colors, I had a little bit of this left over so I'm gonna use it. That's the Anita's metallic or pearl, not metallic, pearl blue, which looks green. This is Anita's Metallic Sapphire. This is Liquitex Prism Violet. This one is the 20 Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold. These are mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol with water to thin. They are thin. Um, this is Artist Loft Black. And it's really thin. I know you can't tell even if I could get it in the camera. It's falling through. It's not making any mound at all. So I'm gonna put a little of that in there first because I really want that to come out in the middle. I want it to be dark in the middle. And then I'm going to try doing a base coat with it. Let's see how that works. It's running better than it did last time. So hopefully it'll work. I'm gonna do it this way this time. Get it over with. I think as thin as it is, it's gonna move good anyway, so. And as thin as the other part the paints are, that should help it also, so hopefully. This time I get what I'm going for. So. Let me put in this first and use up the last of it. Let me see. I'm gonna thin that out just a little tad. And a little tad more. I love that color. It is absolutely gorgeous. Some of this blue. Prism Violet, it's falling through. How about a little more blue? This gold, I have mixed thin. If I lift it up very far, it falls through. It makes a tiny bit of a mound, I just, Hope it's thin enough because I think that really has a big impact. Put a lot of it in there. Alrighty, we're gonna, I'm gonna pour this kind of from up high. And kind of fast. So I want it to blend. Now I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. I'm gonna pop some bubbles. Looks like I may have some cells this time. I hope so, because I've been watching these videos where everybody's getting all these, this cell action from the 24 karat gold. So I went out and got some, and I don't want to be disappointed. I just don't.
Lost some gold right there on the edge. Maybe I'll do that and then come back down here because I don't mind if I have some negative space. But I do think that part of what's going on with this is you need to stretch. So, I don't know. Lost my blue. <laughs> my blue kind of disappeared on me. Let me see now. Let's see what it's going to do for a minute. And then I'll decide if I'm going to keep stretching or let it pop up some cells like it did down in there. Because I seem to be getting some right in there that's what i was going for so i may have to tilt off since i don't have seem to have as many down there oh i like that Still have a lot of paint on here. If I have to stretch anywhere, I'm going to that corner. Yay! I don't like this design. I think I used too much paint. It called for five ounces, but I forgot I had already, I should have deducted some for the um, base coat that I put down. Since I've stretched these out so big, I'll take some more of that off. Well, hopefully, hmm. I'll get some more down in here popping up like these have. Because that's what I was going for. I don't care if I don't have any in the middle. That's fine. That doesn't look that bad. Looks like a frog face in the middle. But at least I'm getting some right in here. So I think I'm going to torch it again. I think having too much paint was part of the problem. If I had had less paint and stretched it more, I would have probably gotten more cells. I still have paint. May do another one. And hopefully, in the next 10 or 15 minutes, some more will pop up, but I just don't know. Right down in here, it doesn't look like I'm gonna get much or over here either. Maybe some of these will spread a little bit because these look great. And these right here don't look bad. I think I too much paint. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I will take the camera down, give you a close up, and then maybe in like 15 minutes, if I have any extra cells, then I'll do another close up, but if there's no more that pops up, then I probably won't. So, I think it's pretty as far as colors. Composition isn't bad. 
I don't hate it. So we'll just, I'm just going to leave it and see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. This was fun. I want to see what it ends up doing. And hopefully I don't stick my finger anywhere where I'm not supposed to and mess anything up. So thank you for watching. So this is how it looks from my side. Down in here, I have smaller ones and bigger ones. There's not really any in-between sizes. Um, over in here, I get more of the in-between sizes. That prism violet is so gorgeous. I do wish some more of that blue had come through, though. It's showing its face a little bit in different places. But right up in here is what I was going for. Like, all over the place. I was hoping to get those all over the place. So, up in here, the gold is beautiful. I like the way it's highlighted and the way it's mixed in with the other colors. And some of that blue is showing through right up in there. And I like that dark center setting it down some there in the middle, giving it some depth. So, if it changes a whole lot, I will video some more for you and show it to you. Thanks for watching.